welcome back to the channel um, another day today we're going to go pick up a unit that I want online um, can't remember what site storage treasures I think six hundred and ten dollars was the winning bid um, heading right now to go pick it up I've got um, Leah my wife and Ann helping me they're in the gas station right now getting some cold drinks because it's going to be a hot one I think this one's actually inside so hopefully it's going to be cool some of the climate control places are nice and cool. Sometimes it's hotter in there than it is outside, but heading that way now, we're gonna crack that door open and we're gonna see what we got. All right, we're here to pick up and it's gonna be one of those fun inside buildings. And then we had to park kind of way over here because there's not enough room here without us blocking this whole entrance. So we gotta pull it all down here, down the elevator, down the hall. Got them parts there. Just so you know, the code is star one 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 four nine one. Wrong code. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Four one. Okay. Star one 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 four one nine. There we go. Oh, you have to do that? Okay. Thank you. All right, and then we're on the second floor. What's up with this car? It's extended. Yeah. It's extended. It might be good. Get one extra mark. And you're right on that. No. And. Leah and <laughs> Leah. I got gloves, but they're too dirty. You carved your name into your cup. Yes. It's a good thing because I would have I would have drunk it if I didn't. <laughs> See your name. I would have drunk it. I would have drunk it. Um, which way did we go? I think this way. Money. Almost there. We're walking. We're walking. We're here. All right. This is the unit. It's a 10 by 15. Pretty full. There's a big space right here, but there's boxes all down there stacked to the ceiling in the back. And over here. We've got a, um, what in the world? Oh, I think we have a, yep, it's a white piano in there. I was wondering what that was when I was bidding, I couldn't quite tell. I almost thought it was the back of a big screen TV, but it's a piano. TV, looks like we got a, hopefully a decent um, couch right here all wrapped up. Oh, here's a, oh, that's a computer tower. Okay. Lots of boxes in here. Oh, here's one of these these blowers, these windstorm blowers, these are pretty expensive. Ooh, watch your gloves, that's good. She's ready to work. And did you bring your gloves? You're no, not ready I to work. I brought two. I get, does that mean I get the super fast? I've got, I've got so many calluses on my hand, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I think there's a, there's a violin right here. Here, set, set this box down. Let's kind of get an idea. What we're... we got a. It's like a little weather radio and speakers. Oh, I need. Oh, there's a first surround sound. I need some computer speakers. So just kind of some miscellaneous. There's one of those little air fresheners, I think. This looks like paperwork. Oh, but wait a minute. We got a cleaver. Baby book. Here's some, um, uh, yep, some photos there. Uh oh, look. Cocoa puffs. And crunching much in there. And I didn't bring, 
a knife, but I think there was a knife in there. I can use probably a big, big butcher knife or something. Regular old kitchenware and then some kind of hose. We got a fan that'll definitely sell. This fan. Uh, there's a black case right here. I just the only problem with these I can't ever figure out which side to open in them. I think it's gonna be this side. This is Probably a poker set. Nope. <laughs> it was makeup or something in here. What is that? Mm. So that's nothing. And like always, I'm not going to open every single box because we would be here all day long. Just if we see something interesting looking, or, and then we'll crack a few open here every now and then. There's a TV. Some artwork, just regular old. Nothing fancy. Is there a microwave in here? I think it actually is in here. That's a, it's a little TV, TV screen, but there is, what is this? That's a speaker of some sort, is it? Ooh, there's something, okay, something's leaked out of these bottles in there, but there's, oh, there's weights in there, that's why it's heavy. There's a, it was heavy. There's a 10 pound weight. Ugh, it's got gunk all over it. Look, at least there's a nasty box here. Let's see. What's nasty about it? It's like nasty bathroom stuff. Yeah, this one, it's so far, it kind of, it looks fairly organized, but at the same time, it's like not super organized. When you look in the boxes, some of the stuff's just kind of thrown in there. But then like these are wrapped up and a lot of stuff's stacked up. So it's going to be kind of a... One of those in the middle. Wait a minute, here's another case on this side. I think so. it's like a violin case. Yeah, I already saw that. Open that up in, see. It's most likely they're normally just like little school ones. Um, let's see. <laughs> Cecilio. It looks, it's in really good shape. I have to look this one up. I really, has all the bows and everything. It's in really, it's in like perfect shape. It's pretty much light new. That's, um, you put this on the, um, strings and stuff oh, right here, I think. Oh, okay. hmm. Here's the other case, and it leaves as it feels like it's empty. Some of these are really light, though. Yeah, it's in there. Another one. This one, still in good shape. That's just the strings. One of the strings are coming off here. And not in as good a shape. That one there is like brand new. Oh, and it has the tuning tuner. I don't see I don't see a name anywhere on this one at all. So maybe that just might be a cheapo one right there. But that Cecilio, I'm not sure. I don't know if I don't have no idea. A bunch of books, but we got American Sucker. Alright, I did look up that violin and they're about $150 to $250. So nothing like super high end, but there's you can order them off Walmart or Amazon. So maybe a hundred bucks on it. So better than, you know, 
It's something, but not nothing like, you know, some crazy expensive violin. Here is really, really heavy. And of course it's full of books. So far they've got lots of books. We got Trump, think big. We got Malcolm X. This could end up being one where the furniture is nicer than the boxes. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes the boxes are better than the furniture. Sometimes the furniture is nicer than the boxes, or you know, sometimes they're about the same. But so far, boxes. I mean, there's stuff in there. They don't look nothing, nothing super great or interesting. But like this ladder shelf right here is really nice. This couch looks really nice. And then I see back there the um, some clues. It looks like some other nice furniture that's going to be in here. What was in this box here? Nothing really. Mm -hmm. um, this one does have some nice faces, and we've got this little elephant. This is nice right here. It's wood carved. Elephant. This looks like trash. Looks like trash. Yeah, okay. empty boxes are full. Hmm? None of these boxes are full. These here in the back that are all, the ones in the front are full. Not necessarily anything good, but these in the back, they're all nice and neat. Just have like hardly nothing in them. <laughs> some border some border and placemats or something. But wait, look at this right here. This is cool. That's cool. This is wood carved. That's really cool. All right, I just figured out that this was definitely a twofer meaning that there was um supposed to, that this unit had another unit here that went with it i was bidding online and because we have a really nice table here and there's no chairs and then we have the love seat with no sofa but they're both you know it's really nice where normally you would have the whole set but now that i'm thinking about the other unit that was here um i can tell matched it because this blonde furniture right here there was another piece now i don't know if it matched that exactly but it was blonde also and it was it just was the same style and then there was several of these plants like this it was the same style and they were wrapped up in shrink wrap like this and i just know it was the same person's unit so so the other person probably got the chairs for the table the sofa and whatever what are the other pieces that for the furniture that we might be missing so but that's just the way it goes sometimes. You know, why in the world when online these facilities don't just put on there, this unit goes with the other one? I don't know because they would actually get more for them because people, once they win one, they would bid more, but they don't do it. When all the auctions were live, a lot of them would tell us or we would figure, you know, it would look similar and we would ask the person while we we're standing there and they would say, yeah, it was, but for some reason online, they don't tell, so. Sometimes I've figured it out and I've bid on both, but I should have known that this was the same people, but it really, it really didn't look like the front of this one though, but now that I'm into this one, it's definitely the same person's unit. But that's what it goes. So we're gonna, we're gonna have a really nice table with no chairs. The love seat's not a big deal because we can still sell that, but if you have a whole set, you can get way more and it sells way easier for the whole entire set. And then whatever else, when we're all said and done, we might have other pieces or they might have pieces that, that could have helped, you know, made the unit better. We had a little injury out here. You gotta be careful with this broken glass. The glass on this picture broke. See, there's all the glass, and this glass on this, on these um, picture frames is like really, really sharp. But, really? Okay. Well, so there was a piece of glass over here. Leah stepped on it. Somehow, ended up pointing straight up and went right through her shoe and poked her in her toe. We got blood. 
all over the place here. That one all the way in. So that one little piece, that's the one that went. Yeah. So that jammed, it probably broke off too. Right that was there. probably longer than that for it to go all the way through your shoe and into your toe. Yeah. Well, we'll see here in a minute, I guess. Can't take you anywhere. All right, we just loaded this giant, this thing's like eight foot tall, big cabinet right here. This thing was a pain because you couldn't stand it up to get in here. We had to slide it in sideways. Now I'll get the piano to get. Every time I load a unit, I always bring a furniture dolly, the little flat dolly with the wheels in case I run into something really heavy and weird. This time I didn't bring it and definitely could have used it for this cabinet. Definitely need it for the piano. So we're gonna have to try to get the piano on one of these flat carts somehow. All right, we got this one all cleaned out. I just got to grab this base here and um, sweeping it out. A lot of the boxes, you know, we showed you some of them kind of half empty, not so great. Um, some of the furniture was pretty good. The only problem with a lot of the furniture is it's missing pieces because this is one of two units that this person had. So like we've got, we have the table, but no chairs. We have the love seat, but no sofa. We have a desk that has supposed to have a piece of glass, but there's no glass. We have a, two pieces of a bedroom set, and then we have the mirror for a dresser for the bedroom set that's not in here. So overall, it's gonna be decent. It looks like the stuff in the boxes, we haven't gone through it unless we find some surprises is just kind of average. Um, the furniture is pretty good. Could have been really good if we would have had all the pieces, but overall the unit's gonna be just, you know, just kind of an average unit. Nothing real, nothing real good, nothing real great. Not horrible because there is plenty of sellable stuff in there, but um, really nothing exciting, nothing unique, kind of almost a boring unit, I guess you could say, because there's just nothing, no collectible type stuff, nothing out of the ordinary. And um, all of it, we did um, sacrifice blood, sweat, and tears. Literally Leah's toes bleeding all over the ground. Literally sweating because it's like a jungle outside today. It's the middle of July and it's literally Every time you got there, you're just pouring sweat But once we get this stuff back in a little we'll go through some of the stuff and see if we might find any surprises in any of the boxes You never know But that's it for here. All right. I got a few of the um, Furniture items out. So I'm just gonna kind of show you real quick we've got That mirror this really nice love seat came from the unit of course like I've already said no sofa now this thing's kind of a killer right here this is really really nice huge display cabinet it's supposed to have shelves all in there but the shelves aren't here the shelves must be in the other unit this is really nice right here I mean this is like really heavy well made and then the piano turned out much nicer than I thought I thought it was just like somebody had painted one white but it's like a veneer nice finish like an ivory color Kauai. I'm not sure if that's how you say it right or not, but really nice condition. And what else we got? Yeah, there you go. So come over here. We got this piece. Italian made dresser with the marble. Pretty nice. Ladder. And then I did put out the um the air mover there for 50 bucks. So 
those are a few there's still a few a couple more furniture pieces but those are the ones that i've put out so far so pretty nice stuff too bad there wasn't um, more stuff or a few more pieces to make some of that complete but i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna go through some of the boxes now on the trailer and we'll see what we find all right i'm back here going through um these boxes from this unit in the trailer i mean there's some stuff in there but man these boxes are rough but so far that's a buggy full of dollar items um all these items here stuff that i'm going to put in the auction i mean some decent little you know decor vases african looking art this globe right here is kind of cool this pink globe and um a little elephant wood carved elephant some dove moisturizing body wash and over here like all this decor right here that's all gonna go in the auction but like all this so far all these boxes all this laying over here all this is trash it's gonna go over in the dumpster still got a lot of boxes to go through still got that shelf on there it's got to come off and go out on the floor TV stand Lots of um, art that's scattered in here, all along the walls in here. But, but man, it's these boxes, I mean, there's a lot of boxes. I'm just opening it, and there's stuff in it. It's not like literally just paperwork. It's stuff, but it's just trash. It's just nasty, mixed up, you know, just, just crap, really. A lot of stuff just going away. Like I said, that's all trash. But I think once it's all said and done, I mean, there'll be a pile of stuff, you know, to go in the auction. To get that filled for next week but overall the boxes are pretty bad compared to the furniture I mean the furniture this is, it's kind of weird the furniture super clean nice it's like you know heavy well-made stuff they spend a lot of money on the stuff and I mean just this kind of just junk right here just trash all the clothing and um, whatever you call this stuff linens and pillows it's I mean it's hard to tell on the on the camera here but it's just kind of dingy stuff that I don't even want to I don't even want to deal with just throwing it away and stuff like this look just old food half bottles of spices and nasty stuff crap like that boxes of just bathroom stuff but sometimes you can get people's bathroom stuff and it's good because they'll have extra lotion or you know with nice name and stuff this stuff is just nasty the bottles are all nasty and gunked up most of it's empty or or mostly empty so Box is bad. Oh, this whole thing of records. I've looked in this before. All those there are just the sleeves. No records. This little bit right here were the ones that had the sleeves, and most of them are nothing good. We got a Notorious B.I.G. Bill Cosby for adults only. And the Wu-Tang Clan. So nothing real good there. But most of them's empty. So I'm gonna to continue to dig through some of these and see what we find. There's still quite a few that I haven't. Some of these I'd already looked in when we were loading the unit up. I was opening some of them up, but there's still quite a few that I haven't even looked in. And so many of them just really don't have anything. Not, not, I'm not even talking about just nothing good. I'm talking about there's literally hardly nothing in the box. And they take these things like crazy. Like, like there'd be some special look when you open it up. Probably nothing in it, but wait a minute, this is kind of cool though. Oh, never mind, I thought that was something else underneath it. But that is a little African style art. Wood African Shadow Box. That can go in the auction. Little um, wall sconce. That's nice looking, that can go in the auction. And then a little elephant candle holder. Well, you put the candle there. I think it's like a um, wax wax burner or something like that I don't know so a couple things in there like I said there's a lot of it so it adds up but for the amount of boxes I mean it could have been a lot better and for as nice as the furniture was it's just a little bit odd even though half the furniture we didn't get and like I think the other unit that, that went with this I think it had the washer and dryer because we do have the hose right there I think it had TVs because we got remotes and we got two TV stands. And no telling what else might have been there or or what, you know, half of something that they're looking at like, what in the world? What does this even go with? 
because we get like a we have a desk with no glass, but then we have gla uh, several glass pieces that go to it looks like another desk or something like a desk. Put this here. This is all cleaning supplies. So that we use around here all the time. That we use around here. So this is not a bad box because that's the stuff that we can use. Uh, another one of these boxes that doesn't weigh nothing. There's something in here, but not much. Let's see. Crazy. We've got a vase and a paper towel holder in that wooden box. I could have definitely used like half the amount of boxes. That in one box, I could have fit like three times as much stuff, four times as much stuff in that box. hangers. This is not exciting at all, but you can actually use these record on coat hangers for our clothes up front. We just recently added a bunch of clothing racks. It's one of those things we've sold literally thousands and thousands of coat hangers and then all of a sudden we need them. So a lot of, look at all that costume jewelry so far. And that's heavy. Feels like it weighs about four or five pounds. All right, another box of just jumbled up junk. But I did dig, did dig down through there, and I found a little bit of change. Then I also found this little um, Game Boy, a couple games, Castlevania Double Pack, and Castlevania Circle of the Moon. A little um, guitar tuner and Grand Theft Auto 3 and it is in there it's a couple little treasures down in that mess right there so all right I still got quite a few boxes that need to be gone through some other larger pieces that can go out for sale a lot of this you know has already been shown earlier when we were, we were loading this unit up got All that trash. I've been finding some stuff. Costume jewelry. That's pretty much if I don't know if I'm gonna find anything too you know crazy, you know, interesting, valuable, because so far this you know, it's just it's not a lot of real unique um no collectibles, that kind of stuff. It's just kind of regular core, regular household stuff. Um so I'm probably gonna just um go ahead and close this video out and you know you never know we might find something interesting i might you know put something post a video about it or put it down in the comments if there's something really crazy but i'm probably going to just finish the filming on this one and get this thing edited because i don't know a lot of these boxes we've actually already opened the top when we were loading like I said, nothing, nothing crazy, unique, or anything in this one. It's just one of those units. Some of them you get doesn't mean it's doesn't mean it's horrible. There's lots of sellable stuff, but just not a whole lot of 
interesting things. Not a lot of intrigue, not a lot of mystery to this one here. Um, it's a mystery why they put one item or two items in a box that could fit 20 items. And also a mystery why they mixed all their stuff up, you know, in two units the way that they did. But like I said before, why these storage facilities don't just, you know, put on the listing. Both of these units belong to the same people. I could have bid on both of them or the other person could have won both of them and I could have went with something else. They would actually make more money like that because once I won the first one, you know, I would spend a lot more on the second one to make sure I get it. But for some reason, they don't normally do that. And you end up getting pieces and parts. Not a huge deal a lot of times, but in this one here, there's some key things. Like I've got this really nice table here, which I will be able to sell, but I'm assuming most likely there's chairs in the other one. If you had chairs for that thing, you know, that's way easier to sell. You can get way more money for it. And then along with several of the other things that I, you know, only had pieces and parts of. So, so I got pieces and parts of stuff. There's somebody else out there that has pieces and parts of a unit. That's just the way it goes sometimes. A lot of times I can tell when I'm looking at the pictures, looking at the, um, you know, posting online. This one I couldn't really tell until we started moving some stuff and getting in. And then it became, you know, pretty obvious that the other unit at this facility belonged to this one. I wish I would have known it first. That's the way it goes though. Even on ones that they don't have two units, a lot of times you get pieces and parts and stuff. That's just what comes with the territory and buying these storage units. You're gonna get incomplete stuff sometimes. And then sometimes you're gonna get super meticulous, every little piece of hardware attached to it. Um, and that's great, but not how it always is. So that's this unit. Boxes are kind of eh. The furniture was good, could have been better. Overall, the unit, when it's all said and done, just kind of an average unit overall, just because there's so much of it's going to be trash in the boxes. Could have been really good if the, the boxes would have been better. But that's the way it goes. That's life in the storage auction business. Always a little bit of a gamble. Not really 100% gamble if you got a system and if you got a way to move it, but there's always that gambling factor, you know, as far as you don't really 100% know what's in these boxes and what's buried in these units until you get in there. But that's the business. But you want to see more videos like this, more units we're going to go through in the future, hopefully better ones, hopefully more interesting with some actual real treasure, mystery items, intriguing items, then hit that subscribe button. We're always buying units. This is what we do. Hit the like button for this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions and y'all have a good one.